wrote, Texas Postal Workers Union Legislative Aid. Uh, here's a monthly report that we're doing just to inform you of what's going on legislative issues. If you haven't noticed by now that the postmaster of the national is attacking our, our machine of democracy is under attack by the census and postal service. The White House administration, the president is attacking and trying to dismantle. He is dismantling the census and he's trying to dismantle our vote by mail. Now how's he doing this? On the census, he's already gonna cut it off a month early. That means right now that it's imperative to you that before October, before October 1st, that you call or you uh, go on to, online to the census and you do your census. It only takes a couple of minutes and it's easy to go ahead and get online and do that. This is very important to you. The reason why is that they take that count and that's the way they determine what type of, of funding you would need for fire, for police, the type of congressional seats that you will have in your district. And it's very important that we, you have, that you get what you're supposed to, to get as far as being under the count. If not, you're gonna be undercounted and they're gonna take funds away from these programs from you. The other one's vote by mail. This postmaster general has taken it upon himself to go ahead and just change the standards and delay the mail and try to use it under operating costs that it's, that it's too, too expensive to do. We need to stop him from that. We need to contact our senators. We need to contact our congressmen and pass the HEROES Act. This is a $25 billion to help the Postal Service in this time of need during this COVID crisis. We have reached out to different congressmen and different senators and we, right now, go into the election process of these congressional uh, senators and Democrats and congressmen. And we're offering their, our support for them. And we're asking that you, the members, go out and vote. We have different uh, congressional, like Hank Gilbert in the Congressional District 1 in the Tyler area, Wendy Davis in the Congressional District of 21, that's right here in San Antonio, on the north side of San Antonio. We have Gina Ortiz Jones that reaches from San Antonio to El Paso, congressional de uh, Democrat that's running for uh, congressional seat 23. We have Candace Venezuela, congressional district 24 that's in the Dallas area. And Julie Oliver, congressional district 25. And there's some more in Texas, uh, the Texas state that there are more that we need to take care of. Um, on the September, early part of September, this local has went ahead, the San Antonio Alamo area local, has uh, go ahead and authorized a picket at our main postal service. And when, once I get the actual time and dates of this, we will take care, care of that. And we'll give hand that out to We'll pass that information along as the time, date, and the, and the, and the place. So, call your senators. Tell them to pass the HEROES Act. We need this pass to help us take care of the situation we're in with this post office. It's very important. We're gonna have an election, and the vote by mail is gonna be crucial. And this administration is doing everything it can to delay it, or make you think that this is not a safe way to, to vote. It is the most safest way to vote. It's been proven time and time again. Just one more thing, as you see behind me, Scabby the Rat has appeared and is walking in and infested this area and we need to get rid of him. Scabby the Rat is a person that's gonna take your jobs. If we don't vote, if we don't pass this, if we don't get this vote by mail going, and we don't vote these elections. We're going to lose union. We're going to lose union jobs. We're going to use. We're going to lose a time-honored tradition of the postal service and their mail because they're going to contract it out and get rid of the U.S. Postal Service. Only you now, by voting, by participating, 
by picketing, by, uh, by calling your senators and telling them to pass the HEROES Act is the only way we're going to keep this national tradition going and the post office stay solid in the years to come. Thank you.